Hello and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today I'll be showing FeveHealthyRecipes.com how to make a healthier Hungarian goulash. While this dish has its roots in Hungary, it's also a very popular dish here in America. But unfortunately, we often forget the veggies, and as a result, we fail to capitalize on just how nutritious this recipe can be. Now this version, on the other hand, is loaded with veggies. But don't worry, they're all diced up, because we won't want to scare away the kids. All they'll notice is the macaroni. And what kid doesn't like pasta? Alright, to make this one we'll need one pound of 90% lean ground beef. You could also use ground chicken if you want, or very lean ground turkey for the lightest option of them all. Two carrots, one onion, and one potato, all peeled and diced. One rib of celery, also diced, and two cloves of minced garlic. We'll also need one cup of corn. This is frozen corn. 10 ounces of gluten-free elbow macaroni. That's about two-thirds of this one-pound bag. One 20-ounce can of crushed tomatoes. One cup of gluten-free beef broth. One tablespoon of smoked paprika. If you have Hungarian paprika, that's even better. One half cup of wine. And two tablespoons of low-fat sour cream or Greek yogurt. Plus more to garnish with if you want. And some salt and pepper to taste. Alright, now to make this. In a large skillet or Dutch oven over a medium-high heat, saute the meat with some salt and pepper to taste for about 10 minutes or until it's fully cooked and slightly browned. The bottom of the pan should be fairly dry at this point. If it isn't, drain off any excess grease, then add all of the vegetables except for the corn and saute for another 10 minutes. Add the crushed tomatoes, beef broth, wine, and paprika, stir everything together, lower the heat, cover, and simmer for 20 minutes. At this point, you should also put a pot of water on to boil the macaroni. Now once the goulash has simmered for 20 minutes, Stir in the corn, recover the pot, and cook for an additional 10 minutes. At about the same time that you add the corn, you should also cook the pasta. When it's done, add it to the pan with the low-fat sour cream or Greek yogurt. Stir everything together, and this dinner is ready to hit the table. It's a really great, well-rounded meal that I think everyone will love. And you'll love the fact that it's a one-pop meal, so you won't have a ton of extra dishes to wash like when you're making a main dish with a few sides. So I hope you'll try this one out for your family and let me know what you think of it. And if you'd like to see this recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for additional recipes and tips to fit in with your healthy lifestyle, visit my friends at FeveHealthyRecipes.com. See you again soon.